So this is one thing I thought I would never be doing two months ago is hiking through the mountains of Thailand by myself. Woo! It is scary. But uh, spider web. They're flying things. They're like flying in my mouth. I gotta be honest, I'm really pushing myself today. The, one of the fancy hotel buses out to see the Mese waterfall. So we took a drive maybe about an hour out into kind of the jungle area and then came across this right here. So this is my first time seeing it and uh, I'm gonna show you guys around. So out here, two different notable differences. Um, one, there are so much more mosquitoes. I'm doing okay with them right now, even with the bug spray. And two, uh, spider webs, spider webs. I hate spider webs because I know if you stepped in one or you walked through one, there was probably a spider on it. So I'm like constantly thinking, all right, so where is the spider? Um, hopefully it's not on me, but I definitely walked through like three or four spider webs already. So this is officially a lot more nature than I'm used to. I have adopted this stick as my, my spider web, spider web tool. There are spider webs everywhere. Good thing I wore high socks. I wish I just wore like long pants all together. There are all sorts of creatures, animals, bugs, the flying things that I've never seen before. I am just trying not to panic, but I have my stick, so it's giving me a little bit of comfort. Anyways, long hill right here. There's supposed to be some cascades at the top of it. So I'm going to head up there and check these out. Okay, that was a lot of fun. I just checked that out. It was really cool. I got some great photos out here, I'm sure. There's some sort of alarm going off. I don't know if that's the tigers coming run away alarm. And then also, almost slipped on the rock, completely busted my butt. But uh, lucky for the world, I have amazing balance. So I was able to catch myself rather easily. So now, I just have this giant hill here. I still have my stick. I'm telling you, this stick is just giving me all the comfort in the world when it probably wouldn't do anything but at least it can knock down some spider webs for me I'm just gonna hike this hill i'm trying to cover this place as fast as i can so i can get back to some civilization because this is pretty scary being out here the only one out here let me tell you every time there's a place that i want to go out on to take pictures or something scary that i want to do out here my heart rate just starts soaring but i listen to it and i follow it and i know i know if i'm careful I'm smart, I use my head, I can go enjoy whatever it is and have the fun I wanna have and experience the experience without dying. So far it works just fine and I have a blast. So there's a giant waterfall up there. There's a smaller type thing right here. 
and I want to go out on the water, take these pictures, some video, and just take it all in. I would be scared out of my mind to do anything like any of the stuff I've been doing here or anything on this trip really back when I was at home. But it's transformed the way I think about what should be fear, what is risk, what's the, what's the real win and loss of experiencing things even if they're dangerous. They feel so good when I'm done. I don't even think of it consciously. I just, I just carry that around from that day forward. And when I do these things every day, I just carry these things forward. And it feels really good. But now we continue to the waterfall. I just found some more people. There's a couple of other people. It looks like uh, two tourists and uh, two locals. And they're also enjoying this jungle here. This is an exercise of a lifetime just because I have to be so hyper aware of my surroundings. It's not really so much all the hiking and the stairs and whatnot, but I have to be so aware. Like I am not a hiking person. I have not been an outdoors person. This is total Total change. So that's it for the jungle. I think I've had my fill here. I can continue going up on this way, and I think there's more waterfalls up there. But I've already came so far up here. I've, I've never hiked like this before, or even been this much in the wild before, and by myself. I think I'm just gonna end here as far as the jungle goes. It's been so much fun here. I probably won't be able to process what's happened right here, probably for another few days even, or a few hours, but maybe. Let me tell you, some of the stuff that I do, that I've been doing on this trip, through this journey, it really gets me worked up. And I find that all this stuff, if it's, you know, how terrifying it is, you could just, you know, I'm getting much better at easily just converting it into positive energy. And I could use that to, one, get through whatever it is that I'm doing at that moment, because it is terrifying. And then two, I could use it to communicate my message better. You know, I've done so much in the last four weeks or five weeks. I think I've been gone for five weeks and I barely scratched the surface but I've came up on so much. So I'm only going to continue. This is really something life-changing. This is something I'm going to remember my entire life. I'm just scratching the surface right here. Just wanted to add that in. Uh, also, again, if you are new here, check out the other videos. Your support helps a lot. I want to keep making content, better content, more content in different locations. Everything I'm doing every day is brand new, totally scary, and I absolutely love it. So, as always, I will see you in the next video.